June 26th. Grandma calls June the moon of the red huckleberry. She says in the old days, a girl my age would have spent the summer searching for a spirit guide. Why is it so hard to be an Indian? Sometimes I don't know who to believe. Did Raven really make the trees and paint the birds? Dad's friend from Chicago is sending his kids out to visit. We're supposed to go camping in the islands. It should be fun. But for some reason, I'm nervous. Maybe it's because the dreams have started again. I hear you call so far away. You're winging through the evening sky. You fly so free against the wind. I wonder why eagle fly when I'm alone inside my mind, and I can hear the ancient cries. I think of you. My heart is calling. The eagle flies. Finally got the letter from Roy today. Michael and Willie are coming in on the 27th. That's tomorrow. I can't tell you how pleased I am that these city kids of mine are getting a chance to see the islands. <laughs> I've never forgotten that summer we spent fishing. Has it really been 20 years? <laughs> sure has. Where did they live? Chicago. Are they gangsters? Stupid. They're kids. Well, Capone was only a kid when he started. All right, listen up. Uh, Michael is into uh, computers and video games and athletics. And uh, Willie says, how? Oh. <laughs> how? You know, like movie Indians. How? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, are you coming to the meeting tonight? Grandma, do I have to go? So what's going on? Some rich guy wants to build a resort on Eagle Island. So who cares? An old burial ground, dummy. So's your head. 
Hey, hot car man. This guy must be rich. Now, sitting next to me is my good friend and college classmate, Peter Mackle. And he has brought with him a proposal to lease 80% of Eagle Island to develop a 275-room conference center. You say the island of the spirits? Its name is Eagle Island. Its name is what I say it is. Eagle Island is a white man's name. Yes. The spirits resting there are your ancestors' spirits, Bob Hawk. That island is sacred ground. Sacred. And you should know that, Joe Edwards, and not be bringing these foolish projects in here and wasting our time. We'll have to excuse Harry. Tonight's his favorite TV night. <laughs> Damn council don't know nothing. Whole place is going to hell. There will be profits for all of us. And I don't know any of us who couldn't use a few extra bucks. My friends, profit is not a dirty word. For us, it means survival. This could be trouble. Bob is right. The Nakut must be strong again. But to be strong, we must remember where our strength comes from. And we must consider carefully what it is we sell to get it back. This is not a matter of profit or money, but of our spiritual survival. As I said before, any sites found during construction will be removed to a new and permanent location. We do not ask our ancestors to move over for the profit-making schemes of the white man. They already have enough of our land. Why do they need more? You don't understand. I understand. I haven't forgotten the last time the island was violated. Oh, come on, Jimmy. Jim, they're old stories. Yes. Old stories, of course, are important. Money is what we need today, not old stories. Ah, my children. Money. Yes. Yes, we need money. But I can tell you that the coal of your poor houses will feel like the blazing sun compared to the coal that will capture your souls if you do not respect the sacred places. Be careful, my people. Be careful. <laughs> Seems there's more resistance in the tribe than you told us about, Bob. Just one superstitious old woman, Peter. She's living in the past. Oh. There, you see, I told you they'd go for it. The center's as good as built. Get with the program, old woman. You're out of touch. <laughs> That's quite a character. What was that she said about someone living on the island? It's just a story. Some old shaman went looking for his son who was killed there or something. They say he put a curse on the place. I don't know, Bob. This may be all more than I bargained for. Oh, come on, Peter. It's just a story. You know Indians, they tell stories about anything. Well, let's get out of here. Whoa. Hey, what about the eagles? We can live with a curse, I suppose, but eagles are going to have the feds all over my back. Don't worry about it, all right? I'll take care of it. <laughs> well, <laughs> Turn it off! Turn it off! Kids. It's an old joke. They stuck a potato in your tailpipe. Get out of here. Oh, 
Wait, he's all right. Fuck, you all right? Is everything okay? Tell them you had nothing to do with this old woman. Tell them it was just the wind. Tell them! They'll believe what they want to believe. If you want a battle, you'll get one. Grandma, did... No, I didn't make the tree fall. Even if I could, I wouldn't do something like that. But you didn't say anything? If he wants to think, I did. Sleep well. Something made that tree fall on Hawk's truck. Of course, I believe, Grandma. But, but trees don't just fall over when you look at them. Something's going on. Great grandfather's canoe prow. Hey, Maria, what's that? Look at that. Will you look at that? I'm looking. What is it? That's it. <laughs> That's it. He's finally flipped. Where'd you find it, Grandma? Your sister found it. Look at that. It's a perfect fit. <laughs> I mean, look at it. It's to the inch. Does that thing make people crazy? What you see, son? Now when the boys come. The four of you can go off in a real canoe. Uh, Dad, four of us aren't going to be able to fit in this canoe. Ah, uh, we'll get another boat besides. 
Can hardly wait to see you guys go off in a real cedar canoe. We're just like the old days. Just like the old days. You guys behave. Remember, there are guests. Come on. Thanks. Oh, Dad wasn't kidding. <laughs> this place is out in the boonies. Totally cool. And we'll see how cool it is at the end of three weeks. Those guys still look like Indians. They got jeans on. You think we came to the wrong place? Come on, kid. Cool it. This isn't Chicago. I mean, they look fairly normal. Who knows? They don't even have headdresses. Yeah, but check out the chick. If this is Maria, this place is looking up. But you wouldn't know about that yet. Huh? Hi, I'm Michael. Hi, I'm Maria. You must be Clint. <laughs> Michael, how was your trip? Michael. Uh, nice to meet you, sir. Hi, I'm Willie. I'm Maria. Okay. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> Clint? Willie? Nice Hi, to Michael. meet you, man. Oh. <laughs> Come on, let's head home. Yeah, I'll get your bags. Oh. Okay. How come you guys got a truck? I thought you rode horses. <laughs> Since he knew he was coming, he's, he's been obsessed with Indians. We tried to read up on you guys, but the library didn't have much. What do you mean, read up on us? You know, on the real Indians. Teepees and scalps and stuff like that. Northwest Native Americans never did live in teepees. It's too wet. <laughs> Very good. Hey, even in Chicago, they teach us to read. <laughs> We should have brought our bikes. I told you they rode bikes. Duck, Willie. Whoa! <laughs> this is a really old house. Yeah, it, it was my grandpa's. Your house? Come on, I'll show you your rooms. Michael, Willie, we're glad you could come. Thank you. Uh, thanks for inviting us. Hi, Grandma. Hi, sweetie. How are the kids? Weird. The little one's real disappointed we don't live in teepees and scalp people. <laughs> <laughs> Look what our little Maria gets for the 
summer. Will you guys stop? Stop? I'm jealous. You get to go camping with him? Hey, Michael, play some volleyball? Uh, no, that's cool. Come on. No, 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 no. Go ahead, son. This team could use some help. No, that's all right, man. I really love it. Come on. Come on. Did your grandma really make that tree fall on Hawk's truck? Don't be stupid. Who can make a tree fall? You're cooking up something. What you up to? Not me, Lucy, but something is stirring. I feel it. You know, Maria found Tupchin's canoe prow the other day. Did she know? There are too many old ones on that island for a kid to give up without a fight, eh? Show off. Well, you don't need to be embarrassed. In the old days, a boy his age would have had to kill a whale to show he was a man. And I'd have been married by now and had four kids. Four, maybe six or eight. All depends on how much you like him. God. Hey, Skip, you gonna launch the canoe? Or are you afraid it won't float? <laughs> Holy raccoon! Did you just walk in front of that canoe? Well, yeah. Are you all right? Huh? Is your thing still there? Never, never walk in front of a canoe. You see that? It's a magic Indian figurehead. If you ever walk in front of it, it's gonna make your thing fall right off. Dad, does Grandma have to do a ceremony? Well, I can't imagine her letting us launch a new canoe without one. Why? They giving you a hard time? But they're my friends, Dad. Do you think there'll be a sacrifice? From the ocean comes the rain. From the rain comes the cedar. From the cedar comes the canoe. To the ocean, it will return. Baki si seeks. Baki si seeks. We ask Aya Ali Laya. We we are you. Tis you, Skaya Ali.
Put that stuff below. Might get wet. I hope this boat don't sink. You okay, man? Everything. All this stuff fit the canoe. Maria. Grandma, I had the dream again last night. Grandma, I'm scared. I was afraid too. So one day I sang my song and I asked fear, who are you? And he ran away with his tail between his legs like a dog. Corruption seal is now yours. Don't be afraid. I will always be with you. Grandma. Maria! Time to go! she knows more than she's telling me. Is it Tupshin I keep seeing? What does he want? Grandma says don't be afraid, but I am. Hey, Willie! How about a big plate of greasy french fries? Or a chocolate sundae with whipped cream? <coughs> But whatever you do, don't throw up. Because if any throw up gets on this magic figurehead, you know what's going to happen. <gasps> oh. You all right, son? No. Why don't you just go ahead and throw up? You'll feel a lot better. No. Clem said... If any gets on a canoe, my thing will fall off. He did, did he? Well, I'll tell you what. You just go ahead and throw up. And if it does fall off, I know lots of Indian magic. I'll get you another one. Okay? Cross your heart and hope to die for life? Cross my heart and hope to die. This is where we'll be letting you off. Right here. You stay within this group of islands. There's not much current, and you're protected by the wind. Maria's the boss. She knows the area. Well, that's a terrific location. You know, I can see why someone wants to develop it. Are there really ghosts there? Not ghosts. Spirits of the dead. Wait a minute. You believe in that stuff? I got an aunt in Jersey who says that she has a ghost in her closet. Can we go there? To her closet? No, to the island. <laughs> the island's under a curse. No one goes there anymore.
Showtime. Showtime, great. I'm starved. What's for dinner? Dogfish. Dogfish? Yuck, dogfish? Oh, fried caterpillars. Look good. Oh, you took off the legs. I love them without the legs. Hey, Hoots. What's the story about Eagle Island? Well, it's part of old Tupshin's curse. Tupshin's curse? That the island holds everything into it. But it's only the currents. Get Maria to tell you the story sometime. It's a good one. Can I steer? Can I steer? Come on, Maria. Let's go. I'm coming. Bye, Hoots. Where do you buy hot dogs around here? Same place you fill the canoe with gas. Take care of this crew for me. And yourself. OK? I'm counting on you. Son, three days. I want you here before dark. And listen to your sister. OK, Dad. Have fun. All right, we will. Thanks. Thanks a lot. See you three days. Let's Bye, do it. Yeah! Remember, if it blows hard, Head downwind for the nearest island. Don't be heroes. Thanks for the encouragement. Hi, Dad. Did you take the compass? Yeah, Dad. When are you fishing and stop worrying? Look, I don't know, they kind of wobble like this out. Look, they're looking at us. <laughs> they don't even have hands. Look, there's one right above the right there. Flip the things. Look how clear this water is, man. This is awesome. Is this the ocean? Yeah, it's the ocean. Tasty. Tasty? It feels like gross. It's got salt all in it. Salt? How did it's salt get here? Beautiful. Look at go, come on, go, leave. We're not gonna hold you. Look at the right stand there. Still make a choice, guys. Look at baby. <laughs> hey guys, my arms are killing me. How about a break? Oh, excellent. Wait, I'm gonna go in and push this thing sideways, all right? You know, this is really all right out here. I mean, it could use a few burger and video joints, but. Grandma remembers coming to summer fishing camps here as a little girl. This was all in the cook territory then. You know, that grandma of yours is really something. You're really lucky to have a family like that. I guess so. I never really think about it. She's different. Oh, I don't know. My dad's cool, I guess. He's always working, you know? Seems like whenever he gets a little bit ahead, something just seems to go wrong. My mom, she's not really around anymore. My dad remarried. I don't know, we don't really do much as a family. Can't imagine not having a family. Got hundreds of cousins and four million aunts and uncles. Yeah, and they're always fighting about something.
What a team. What a team. Come on, land lover. Get that canvas bathtub moving. You must be out of your mind. You want to race when you're paddling in an old tree? Old tree? We Naku are the most famous canoe makers on this coast. OK. All right, paddle, Maria. Let's go. <laughs> we'll show you who has class here. Need a tow, homeboy? What's wrong? So be easy, sucker. <laughs> You've got my sister. The only way you'll win is with a motor. <laughs> hey, come on, faster. Hey, Clem, look out. Hey, move over, man. That's not fair. Come on. Other side, Willie. Help me. Hey, you're getting too close. Michael, there's a log. Turn. Turn. Come on, turn, Maria. Head. I'm trying. Something's wrong. Clem, move over. It won't turn. Hey, come on. Stop trying to hit Michael? us. Michael, Michael, there's a log. Watch out. I can't control the canoe. The log. Oh, oh, Jesus, a slash! There's water coming in. We gotta get out of this. Move over. Here, take my oar. Take now, my what are we gonna do? We gotta get to the nearest land and fast. Throw me a bailer. Sorry! You're sinking! Come on. It's all right, Willie. We'll be okay. How bad is it? The water's filling up faster than I can get it out of here. It wasn't my fault. It wouldn't turn. Watch out! It's sinking! Get over! Get over! You couldn't help it, honest. Come on. Well, maybe we can knock in the canoe and it'll float and we can tow it. Will the canoe sink? This is all working. That's Come good. on. Here. All right, you're back. You ready? Yeah. Hold it. Got it? Come on. It's going to sink, isn't it? No, I think we could make it if we take it real easy. All right, I'll tie the boats together. brought us here. But what do you want? This is it, isn't it? Eagle Island. Island of spirits. an accident we ended up here? I don't know. But I do know I couldn't turn that canoe. Yeah, I believe it. I mean, I've watched you paddle. What is this? A burial hut. Are there really dead bodies around here? They used to bury people on platforms. Sometimes even up in in the canoes, in the trees, right? I suppose the birds and animals used to get to them? Where are you? Toss the 
story? You know, the one about Tukshin and the curse? Please. It was in the time when the first white men were here, hunting seals. There was a great shaman. His name was Tukshin. My great, great grandfather. He could heal people, call the whales, do many other great things. Tupshin had a son, who was a mighty hunter of whales and seals. One day, the shaman came to his son and said, I have heard that there are white men using the sacred island as a camp to hunt seals. If I send many men, they will think it's a war party, a fight, which would anger the spirits of the dead. But if you go alone, Maybe you can persuade them to leave. And his son went. He must have been very brave. And his son went to the island. And was never seen again. What happened to him? The shaman put a curse on the island, which could not be lifted until the white man had left forever. And his son was found and properly buried. And when Tupshin was an old man, he left the village and came to the island to search for his son. This island? They say that Tupshin lives here, on the island of the spirits, to this day, searching for his son. Right, look, we'll find a champ. It's gotta be floating around here somewhere. Brother died until Dad I lost it. Look, let's get the kayak fixed. Oh, wait a minute. What is it, Michael? I put the bag with the spirit boat stuff in the canoe. It's a repair kit for the kayak. Are you sure you didn't leave yes. it with the stuff at the camp? Yeah. Everything was in that canoe. Even the paddles. Are we gonna be stuck here forever? Let's go look for the canoe.
Maybe we should split up. You're right. I'll take Willie. We'll do the beaches on this side. All right, we'll go over the top and do the other side. See that tree up there? We'll meet you on the top of that ridge, all right? OK. Come on. Yeah, let's go. here somewhere. What are you looking at? I keep seeing. Seeing what? Seeing things that. Maria. Things you wouldn't understand. You know, you are one difficult lady to have a conversation with. You know that? I mean, look, I'm sorry. I'm just not tuned into this mystical level of non communication, all right? What do I know about any of this weirdo stuff? I'm a city dude. I know about subways and video games. Yow! Damn it, will you please stop? Golly, here we go again. Well, look, how about easing up on me, all right? And showing this poor sucker what the score is, okay? Huh? The score is that I don't know what's going on any more than you do. You think because I'm an Indian I should know all these great mystical secrets? I don't. I don't know why all this weird stuff happens. I don't know why I have all these weird dreams. Yeah, but Maria, you do know something, and that's a hell of a lot more than I know. All I know is that it's two completely different worlds. When I go to school, it's like part of me is looking at it different eyes. And I know just enough about the old ways to scare me. Listen, I think you've got yourself totally turned around. Now, what I'm trying to say is that, that you know things and you see things that other people don't. That's an advantage, not a problem. Huh? Come on, smile. Come on, we've got a canoe to find. Let's go. doing up there? Don't worry, I got lizard's feet. Get down here. Willie! Willie! Watch out! Willie! Willie, are you okay? Get down from there. Willie! Willie, I Willie. told you not to go up Look there. Look at this! Are you okay? Look oh, at this! Willie, what's up there? Look at it! Guys, come up here. It's amazing. Wow. Maria? I'm not gonna believe this. Oh. Wow, we. What is it? Is this our canoe? No. But it's. It's the same prowl? Do you think we could uh, borrow it? Willie, don't touch that! <laughs> Do that. Is this 
same seal. And the same prowl. Wait a minute. You remember the story? I do. The one about the man who got lost on the island of the spirits. The shaman's son. Egyptian son. He must have been killed in his canoe. And until he's properly buried, the spirit's trapped here. You said nobody ever comes here. It looks like Hawk. Hawk? Eagles. There must be a nest around here. I don't see any eagles. And there ain't no nest either. Never was and never will be. Ah! Shh, be quiet. What are they doing here? Wish I knew. Whatever you say, boss. Those must be just damn big pigeons. Yeah, that's it. Pigeons. You missed him, boss. I wasn't trying to hit him, just a little housing relocation is all. Look. They weren't shooting at us. They were shooting at the eagles. Come on. There's a nest. That's why they're here. Eagles are a big deal around here. If anybody knew there was a nest on the island, they'd never be allowed to build anything. That's great. What do you mean it's great? Well, the man's illegal. We tell everybody there's eagles here and Hawk's trying to blow them away. They bust them in the island safe again, right? What we need is that boat! 
Meet me back at the kayak. Clem, Clem, come back here. Clem, don't be crazy. Someone messing with the boat. Come on, he's getting away. Hey, come on. video game where... All right, look, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go to the top of the ridge and find some way to distract them, all right? I'll do my own thing. Let's go. Now, you gonna tell me where the others are, eh, boy? Oh. Now where are they? You hurt me, my dad's gonna kill you. You'll be lucky if your dad or your meddling grandmother ever see you again. Drown kids don't tell stories. Now where are they? Huh? Huh? We've got you now, Hawk. Just wait until the council finds out you were trying to shoot eagles. They're gonna lock you up and throw away the key. Come. I don't like this, boss. If they get back... They're not gonna get back. They're coming! They're coming!
They gotta be here somewhere. There's nowhere to go. I have to strangle every one of their scrawny little necks. Strangle the whole Medlin family. I think they heard us. Uh. Uh. Do you want me to take him out? No. I think I got a better idea. Multi-million dollar piece of property, and who benefits from it? Worms. Doesn't bother them that this is a sacred burial ground? Don't bother me either, boss. When someone is dead, dead, dead. Terrific, Phil. Real profound. Now get your button gear and start getting rid of some of this junk. This is going to be a place for people, not worms. Flashlight, Clem? Yeah. Turn it on. Come on. Because I can't see anything. Oh, I know. Because I got one right here. Wait. Look at that. There's a hole. Keep oh, it. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, no. It's too small. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh man. man. Oh, man. Flash it down. Look at this.
we're gonna die. We're gonna have to think of something else. Dying's not healthy. Maybe that's a way out. Down there? I'm going down. No, wait a minute. If anybody's going down, I'm going down. No. No? Maria, look, Clem and I are probably better climbers than you are. Anyway, I'm the oldest. I'm going down. No. Maria, don't go. There'll be all sorts of creepies down there. It's got to be me. I can't explain, but it's just something I have to do. Maria, I'm not letting you go down there by yourself. Michael, please. Leave me. Please. Look, I don't understand. Michael. Talk you out of this, Emily. I don't know why I'm letting you go. Aren't you scared? I'm terrified. Here, careful. Maria, please be careful. Don't land on Maria. 
Come on! You guys chicken out there? We're getting out of here! myself. Will you tell me about it? Someday? It's really good to see you. You too. care of what hawk that's right i'm not gonna let some scumbag get away with burying me in a cave <laughs> we gotta teach that slime ball a little respect <laughs> what do you say Ian? oh man can we chop him up and feed him to the sharks you better use him as crab bait you in or not <laughs> i'm in then let's Come get on. him get let's him go <laughs> Dad, 
What's wrong? Help what happened to Arlie? The kill was gone. Are you okay? Full bar, Hoot. Full bar. And so, at this end of the island, will be the convention center. At... <laughs> and then the rest of the island will remain undisturbed. Thank you, Peter. Friends, as you know, the council has already voted in favor of the development. Yes. <laughs> now it's time for the tribe to vote on this proposal. All those in favor? Mr. Chairman, may I speak? The time for speeches is over, Jimmy Jim. It's time to vote. Mr. Chairman. All those against? The motion carries. <laughs> Sign right here, and we will send you a copy as soon as we can. Too late. Welcome to Eagle Island Convention. Yeah, sit down, boy. Be quiet. We aren't talking to you yet. Tom, what's going on here? It's a long story, Joe. What you heard it. You know there's no way we can have a resort on the Island of the Spirits. Mr. Chairman, these people are completely out of order. The contract has been signed already. You miserable piece of trash. I'm going to take you apart piece by piece and use you for dog meat. You try to kill my kids. Now hey, you sit down and shut up. I'll never prove anything. And we have a signed contract. People of the Nakut, look. This is my amulet. This same amulet was made by Tuxin was found in the canoe of his son, in the island of the spirits. And we gave Tipton's son a proper burial. Please. Everybody? I don't care what happened out there. This is not the way Peter Mackle does business. And I do not care to be associated with people who say they can't prove anything. Ladies and gentlemen, a good business deal depends on trust. Not on contracts. You know, if you decided to paddle a canoe all the way to the moon, I wouldn't have the slightest doubt you could do it.
the only magic girl I know. Thanks for a truly wonderful vacation. But next time, you come to Chicago. Safer there. I love you. Michael. I hear you call so far away. You're winging through the evening sky. You fly so free against the wind. I wonder why when I'm alone inside my mind and I can hear the ancient cries I think of you my heart is calling the eagle flies dream I know I'll never let you go. 